welcome to Setting the Bar, where we sit down for a virtual chat with best-in-class operational leaders. Today's episode is all about the future of procurement. What are the biggest challenges that procurement leaders are facing in today's world? How are they tackling them? And what does good truly look like? So today, please welcome my guest, Ellen Lee, who is the Managing Director of Purchase to Pay Network, commonly known as PPN. Ellen, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Um, so I think let's go ahead and just leap into our first questions. The first is, if you could only track one KPI in procurement, which would it be? Well, I think that's a really tricky question to answer because uh, obviously we have a lot of lot of KPIs to choose from, and uh, of course they're all they're all there for a reason. But within the, each particular business, but I think if I, I had to choose one, uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit and uh, and choose uh, contract compliance. Um, and for me, of course, um, that actually covers a lot of different KPIs within one. So you're looking at have you actually got the goods that you required? Have they been delivered on time? And are they actually um, adhering to the contract that you agreed in the first place? So within the, within the cost uh, and framework that you agreed. So for me, that's, that's the number one. Uh, I know that's probably a little bit of a... <laughs> no, no, I, you know, I, I think of it as, as a master KPI, one KPI <laughs> to rule them all. Yeah. So for, so for me, I think that, that, that that's something that's really important that people should, should definitely be looking at um, so in terms of you know, cost as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think that leads very naturally into the next question, which is, you know, why does this KPI matter so much? Um, well, I think it's because, uh, you know, you need to make sure that you actually got what you've paid for. Have, have you got the right number of goods that you, uh, that you thought you had? Uh, is it matching to your, to your, to your business need? Uh, and are you getting everything in, in, in a compliant way? And if you are, then obviously you can, you can look at that and it's uh, efficient and visible. Um, so for me, that, that's obviously why, why it's one of the most important KPIs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I think that, that makes perfect sense and really speaks to the value that procurement is really offering to the business, which is enabling that swift and accurate delivery of mm -hmm. whatever it was that was requested. Um, so I think, of course, then the, the, the question, of course, becomes, well, what are some of the most common challenges that organizations see in measuring and hitting that KPI? Um, I, I think it goes back to if people are working in a very, ma very manual environment, then it's difficult to actually track what's going on. And that's one of the reasons why you do have things like Maverick spend happening. Uh, it's, it's because they, they maybe they want to circumvent something which is very long winded, a manual process that's maybe been in place for 10, however many years, and it's actually slowing everything down. Perhaps there's too much isolation still. Uh, so with it, within each of the different areas across the end-to-end -end processing, some of those are still very, very siloed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I, I think that that makes perfect sense and, and tracks very well, unfortunately, with what, what the most often see in these, in these organizations. So our final question today, um, what is the biggest actionable takeaway that you have for procurement leaders? Well, I think really following on from, uh, from the, the point I just made really was, uh, I think that to, to move away from that kind of siloed way of processing, if you really want to, to achieve end-to-end um, -end efficiency, then I think that you need to collaborate more within the business. So you need to be looking at um, KPIs which talk to each of those different areas so from accounts payable finance and treasury into procurement and the supply chain and, and if you've got visibility across all of those areas and you've got uh, analytics which match to those different kpis then you're able to really gain some some huge efficiency gains and um, obviously within that you're going to be um, achieving some enormous cost savings as well um, so, for, so for me, I would say that collaboration is, is something which uh, procurement teams really need to be looking at. So talk to your finance friends, you know, talk to your AP friends, and they are your friends, <laughs> and, uh, and, and find out what they're doing within their own department and how what you're doing actually within procurement actually can match to some of their KPIs because really you're, you're working for the same business and you're, look, and you're working towards the, be, the same business strategy from the business goals. Um, so you need to find a way to make sure that you achieve that together and, and work together. 
what a positive note to end on. <laughs> um, I think a great advice that I think, you know, many organizations are, are striving to achieve and take advantage of. So I, I think we can end it there. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ellen. And thank, thank you, you very much for this episode. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.